Now, good morning. Uh, Dave Langsether, and we're just going to uh, do several things today. We're going to try to work a lot into this video, but a summarize the violin, plate, rib, and bass bar tuning. I'm going to introduce the Universal Tap Tone Reference Tool, and our main website is World Wide Web Violin Research.com. Okay, so there's a lot of material there. Uh, indexed to about 100 videos, 300 pages of written material covering all areas of the violin. Uh, so first thing I'd like to do <coughs> is uh, suggest the uh, this universal tap tone reference. And all it is is just a, a, a tap reference you can tune every part of the violin to. So it, here it is, it's just this. Okay, and with that you can determine if a part is too high or too low, and uh, it'll take care of, for instance, here's a tuned top plate, and here's a tuned back plate, and let's see what it says. So, it's in harmony. And this, compared to the back, is tuned to 176, the back's 198. Okay. Now if we check the back with our universal tap tone reference, it's neither too high nor too low. Okay. And just carrying on that same theme, Here's the uh, neck, okay, and that's 176. The button here is 188. It's in reference. That's in reference. That is. That is. That is. That is. That is. That is. <clears throat> and yet. These are all different frequencies. Okay, so what the universal tap reference tool allows you to determine in uh, one source whether the part's too high or too low, and simply tune until you get it in harmony. Both in harmony. And we're also going to be doing the ribs and uh, rib tuning, same thing. Now notice there's a top and a bottom blue liner strip. And these are the two things we tune to get the rib tune. So we can check see if they're If you get both of those right, then your ribs will be tuned all the way around. So this ends up being 242, 198, 176, 188, 188, 198, all the way around here, and all the way around here, and all the way around here. Then it goes, um, oh, I'm going to have to remember this. Uh, yes. Two thirteen, two twenty seven, two forty two, and two fifty two. Okay, uh, so just this is one tool, you can tune everything. And I've done this on a number of violins, updating them, and um, it's great. So, the universal tap tone reference. And just for the fun of it here, I'll give you a, uh, a minute just of constant um, three taps and a pause, and then three taps and a pause. So it'll allow you to just listen quietly with your mind, and then you can 
tap on something and determine if it's too high or too low. Now this is just a piece of uh, uh, spruce uh, stock and I've split it out you can tell and you get an idea of the dimensions and uh, you just tap on the, an edge which I marked the one that was most responsive. So I can just quickly see where it is and I use that for all the reference. So let's see if this tap, if this uh, tailpiece is right. Wrong, it's low. Slightly low. 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 High. And so on. So, this is a, a violin song contributed to the cause. It's high. It's in actually 170. Six, so it's tuned where the back plate should be, so it's high. And the back plate, it's low, and sure enough, it's um, that's right. Okay, so that's just slightly high, and it should be 198, and it's 199. And then, if you want to check the ribs. Low, low, low. So the bottom blue liner strip needs to go up a little more than the top one. Okay. So now let's go on to the uh, Do a little bit on the play tuning and um, then we'll do the rib tuning. And we'll save the bass bar for last. Okay, so this is going to be the uh, plate tuning. And we'll just pick on the top plates. I've got a number of them here. And a quick way to determine if your plate's got the right kind of uh, attributes is just use the fingernails of these middle two fingers and just tap on the plate. This. That's about what we'd like. And even with your fingernails should be pretty quiet. So here's a plate that is uh, tuned high, if you look at the bass bar, it's real low. So if we just see where it goes, and then you hear it right through the top plate. The plate itself is high, bass bar is low. Okay. Um, so this one is tuned correctly. And this is a bass bar that uh, is tuned also to 176. And you want to tune all the way along its length and you just take it in small increments here. Now if the end uh, this last little bit's wrong, all this part of the plate will have noise. And if there's an area along the plate that's noisy, then we'll look for the bass bar. And I've kind of pre-done this, but I'll just tap along listening for a noisy area. 
So right here it's a bit noisy. Turn it over and we'll look at that area of the base bar and see if it's a problem. That's right. That's right. That's a little bit low. So all I'm going to do is take some uh, this is 150 sandpaper doubled over and I'm just going to narrow it down a little bit in that area. Didn't take much. Okay. Now we'll check it on the outside here. This is area where it was a bit noisy. Okay. Noise corrected. So that's uh, an example of. Now this is the one that has the low base bar, and as you see. It's different amounts of lowness, different amounts of highness. And this is another uh, plate. This one, the grain of the top wood goes at an angle. I think you can see the grain. So you have to angle a base bar. The idea here is just to spread the sound out more. Off a research violin I made, and the same sort of thing. The plate's actually a little bit low, and uh, it actually is. It's 164, should be 176, but the base bar is what I was trying to get right. Okay, and then I measure this and get an idea of the. shape of the base bars, how similar they are. So if you look on uh, violinresearch.com, just click on the base bar link and you'll see the plans. Um, okay, just remember the universal tap tone tool. I'm going to put a um, little recording of this on too, so you can just have it as a reference. But it uh, seems very handy. So you can just check an instrument real quick and see what's right and what's wrong and then know what to start adjusting. Okay, so the uh, next subject here is rib tuning. And so I'm just learning this and uh, made violins for, done, well, research and made violins for 20 years. And I think I'm number uh, 25 now. So all we're doing here, we're putting the glue liner strips on without any curvature on the top, just rectangular shape. And then after we get it on, then we're going to tune it. And you'll get an idea here of the taper of the various parts. You have to actually tune these for the um, as you go for each area. And so you finally end up with a even 242, which apparently is right for ribs. Um, so once you have it in place and you're tuning along, if you find this will be kind of an average of the two, the top and the bottom, and here is an average in the middle, but you can turn each one of these the same. And the top one is easy. You just have a sharp knife and you just carve down this bottom toward the middle edge until you get the uh, tone you want. Now the bottom is a little harder because you can't get your knife on it anymore. And so there's a couple ways you can do it. One way is to take a regular exacto blade and bend them like this. And another way is to have a gouge that has a bit of a curve in it here. And this is a Japan woodworker. So you can kind of get in to these areas and shape it along. So between that combination that seems to work really well. Okay, so we're getting low on time here. We've got about a minute left. Um, but that's basically uh, what I wanted to tell you about. This uh, violinresearch.com. Keep up with the latest developments. And um, this violin is my Opus 22 violin. And obviously I'm remaking it here. 
with a new bass bar tuning and new plate tuning and rib tuning accurately for the first time. So you'll be able to hear this played by a good violin player here probably in a month or two and then I'll post uh, that sort of video. Uh, so that's basically it. So just a reference. You can check any violin, all the parts. Uh, for instance, if you want the tuning pegs, that one's good. It's good. That one's low. That one's even lower. So um, for the rest of this tape till it runs out, I'm going to say goodbye and leave you with uh, some tap tone reference for your own checking. Okay, here we go. Three and then pause. On the pause, and you tap your part. See how it is. Okay, thank you.